J Mike season. Yeah, J Mike. It's a man's world. Get out of here, whoever scrub that was. Scrub. It was probably scrub. J Scrub. <laughs> Your favorite. Look at look at J Mike. If J Scrub makes it in the NBA, it's gonna be the like greatest <laughs> underdog. <story> <laughs> the greatest underdog just because of his name. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the J Mike Lounge. Here as we preview J Michael Green. Look at you guys. Well, you guys can tell this is the last one we're filming of this. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, J. Michael Green probably shouldn't be the last one we do in a day. Poor, poor J. Mike, man. Your guys' energy. Not appropriate for the let's moment. Let's bring it up. J. Let's bring Mike, it up. baby. It's J. Mike. Year two with J. Mike in the house. Uh, let's go ahead and look at last year's stats. His first year with the Nuggets. Eight points, uh, guys. Eight points. Five, 4.8 rebounds. That's the craziest one. 39.9% from three. So close. <laughs> so He probably was one three-pointer away from yeah. him. So that's that's why guys machine. don't take heaves at the end of the quarters, man. Uh, it's so true. I wonder <laughs> if he had like, they a little don't. bonus in his contract. Because you end up like this. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like just it's an eyesore, really, is what it is. Uh, what stands out to you, Harrison, about his stats last year? Absolutely nothing because uh, Jamichael Green might be the most boring player on the Nuggets, but that's great because yeah. he you always know what you're getting with him. Like Those stats are exactly what I thought they would be. It's probably exactly what he's going to do this year. It's probably exactly what he's going to do next or in two years, too. So, um, like, nothing stands out because this is who Jamichael Green is. Is that true, Eric? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at his stats for the last several years. Uh, what Harrison said is pretty dead on. <laughs> 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 pretty, pretty similar stat lines year after year. It looks like he is taking fewer shots. Nope, pretty much the same. Uh, nothing stands out. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll try. Um, one less rebound than his career average per game last year with the Nuggets. They're, again, not going to have a, a traditional backup center. So you'd hope it doesn't necessarily have to be individual, but between he and Jeff Green, they are going to have to make sure that they're, they're, they're winning that rebounding battle. And, and so I look at J. Mike as, as a factor there, obviously. I mean, I think the 39.9% is important. And you're I right. I just couldn't do it again. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you're like, that is I was talking, yeah. But here's the thing. He's a 40% three-point shooter, and that's actually now going on, I think, five seasons in a row. If you look at him, in the first several years of his career – he took 12 total three-pointers. Yeah. He went 0-12 yep. to start his NBA career. If you look over the last few, several years, he's taking. he almost took 200, took 198 last year, almost 200 three-pointers, and he's shooting 40% of them. That's really consistent. It kind of reminds me of Jeremy Grant, who early in his career mm. was not a three-point shooter, had a couple years of climbing, and then just now it's like and a also consistent his whatever. his are JG. It, well, they're, <laughs> they're very <laughs> similar in that way as well. It's a, what a remarkable fact. Excuse <laughs> um, Unlike the other JG, he wants to be here. So he's, uh, <laughs> Which JG? Jeff Green doesn't oh want to be here? Oh, my gosh. Dang it. This is, <laughs> this is too ridiculous. Um, let's go to the big question for you, though. This year, the Nuggets do not have a backup center. I don't know if you guys know this. I don't know who the backup center is going to be. I suspect it's going to be some combo of Jamichael Green and Jeff Green. But can he play center all season? Vote. Michael Malone doesn't seem to think this is a story. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if either guy is going to do that. I, they're going to play next to each other, yeah. yeah. And you're going to see some variance yeah. with matchups. And then, uh, who wants to say it in 2021? Starts with a P. Positionless basketball. He's got it. So <laughs> it's a little less defined, especially with this group. I almost think that doesn't necessarily matter as long as one of those guys can provide some sort of rolling threat, right? And feel more comfortable. You know, guarding some guys in the post, but also Jermichael Green is is fairly stout on that end. But so yeah. here's the thing: you're right offensively that I think Jeff Green is the rolling guy, and Jermichael Green more the spot up, yeah. you know, whatever yeah. guy. But defensively, who guards if you go up against the Derek Favors off the bench That's or true. or Cody Zeller even? Who guards right. that guy? It's a good question. I, I would think Jermichael Green. Me too. He's thicker. He's stronger. Or Hell yeah! I don't. I don't know With if he's stronger. C's, actually, baby. he's just. Seems bigger. Uh, he's a little younger. He's okay. Jamal Green's durable. He had the injury at the beginning of last season, right? What was it the calf? It was a calf in preseason? Well, let's just say core and just the same. <laughs> same so it, was, it was lower body. I think a lower, <laughs> yeah, body, lower injury. body injury. But other than that, he was pretty durable. So, in that for that question, I, I'd have to say Jamal. Dude, I think it's going to be Jeff. Jeff's going to play the the majority of the center position. We saw it last night. Is Jamal Green? On the court, just that power forward? It's it's a little philosophy that I've come to adopt. It's called positionless basketball. <laughs> I think that literally we will treat them exactly. Uh, it'll be a full proxy for Millsap and Jermichael Green last year. That's true. If you ask me who were the center, I don't know I don't who was the center. Yeah. It really yeah. comes down to 
yeah, uh, the defensive matchup, but it also might be their switching all the time. Like Ooh, I think that it, it just definitely will be just that. sort of a twin ish towers ish. Very switchable. Ish towers. But you're right. I mean, if someone has to guard a more traditional back to the basket center, it's probably Jamichael, right? But also, like, how many backup centers are there that are going to murder you more than these guys might be able to murder them? Yeah, like, sure. Who we just is the about... backup center that is going to try to post Cantor? you up? Isaiah Hart Hartenstein. No, it's yeah. JaVale McGee. <laughs> no, he's not going to post up, no. though. He's going to roll to the rim. Cantor is like the one in the entire league. Derek Favors <laughs> might just grab an enormous amount of boards. You know, if, if like, Derek Favors is beating you by posting you up, like. Yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. You didn't deserve to win anyway. <laughs> How about it? Let's, uh, let's go to what are the odds, guys? What, what are, are the what odds? Are what, the are the odds? odds? what are the odds? Yeah. Yeah. Should we yeah. 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 rename this segment, What Are Odds? Yeah. <laughs> 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 help us out a lot. What are <laughs> odds presented by DraftKings Sports? So what are the odds? What's the first one we have here? He shoots thirty-seven percent or better from the three-point line. I have on my notes here. He's only done it three times, although it's been in the final th- last three times I believe he's played. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven percent shoots thirty-seven percent or better. I will say seventy-five percent. Dude, I was going to say the exact same number, hey. bro. What are you going to say, Eric? Don't say minus two hundred. So it's very That's likely. too complicated for me. <laughs> I made this line. Very likely. I made this line. Two to low. one. We talked about this on the last one. He's become a consistent shooter. We can move on kind of He's the here. same guy he, every single it's going to year. Yeah, it's going to happen. But here's the really more interesting one, guys. What are the odds that he takes more than 50% of his three-pointers from... What was my question the, here? The corners <laughs> or the <laughs> top of the key? Or 50, I'm sorry. 50% of his shots are threes. So oh. here's the thing. If you look at like percentage of shots, last year, 53% of his shots came from the three-point line. Yeah. This is a trend. His first year in the league, 12%, then 28 then 10 then 9%, then 30 26 Then all of a sudden, you get to the last four years, and it's 48 67 53 So now he's becoming where most of the shots he takes, a majority of them are from behind the three-point line. Honestly, I, I think he's going to have the same exact year as last year. So 53-ish percent of yeah. the shots come from the <laughs> Yeah, right. but maybe he takes slightly fewer because Jeff Green, I would see spending more time on the perimeter than Paul Millsap did. Mm. And Paul Millsap was down low more than I think Jeff Green will be. So maybe because of that, Jamaica was spacing out more while Paul was down low. So maybe because Jeff Green's here. Jermichael Green <laughs> spends a little more time in the I'm paint. I'm with you. I'm following you. See what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You're making a point for yeah. sure. So maybe slightly more twos, but probably the same exact year. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to like, it's really hard to say like there'll be any real noticeable change in what his game is or how he's being used. I mean, I can't, I'm, I, I like Harrison lack imagination and i cannot imagine it's it going any differently right. than it michael green is so boring but boring is so good i know so he shot 68 percent of his shots were threes two years ago with the clippers mm-hmm. so i put 50 percent. maybe that's a low bar what are the odds he does 60 percent? he only did it the one time hey if if you believe every team in the league that they're going to shoot more threes this year <laughs> than maybe than maybe i don't know i could see that that being I, like I most of what he too. does is just shoot threes. i mean he is a really good three-point shooter yeah. or he I, has been in denver i like the question though because it highlights something about jamichael green that i really appreciate i mean this is a a these are the guys that survive in the nba a quality right. back-end rotation player right not going to be much more than that but always sticks around because they know what teams are looking for they know what it takes to be that guy I asked Jermichael about this. It just became very clear to him at some point in his career that if he was going to play for a long time, he was going to have to take threes. And you see that frequency go up, and I just think that speaks to his awareness of who he is and how to how to stay alive. His adaptability. Again, If we, it's not just the three. It's what is being taken away. And if you look at shots at the rim, his first couple years in the league, 57%, 57%, 57.5%. Those are the first three years, shots at the rim. You look at his last three years, 29%, 20%, 25%. So mm. a significant shift in shot profile. And again, I think that's just him evolving along yep. with the NBA and finding out what it is that's going to keep him here. All right, last one I have here. What are the odds he plays more minutes than Jeff Green? Total? Mm. <laughs> sure, total. I meant this per is, game. This, but this is straight 50-50 for me. Really? They're really? going to play the same exact number. I don't How know. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like there is a, there's <laughs> like a world in which perfect. it was like... When Malone's like, Green. 
It's it's three and they're just like, hey, when, <laughs> when, get up. when Mo says that, we're just gonna switch off. Every <laughs> yeah, time. yeah. What I, you know, I I mean, the Nuggets version of Mr. Anderson. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Like, I just think that the two of them are so interchangeable. Green, get I, it? Yeah, like I don't, I I don't know. I just have such a hard time imagining. And also, like, I just think that they're gonna be like kind of in at the same time all the time. Okay. They're the, gonna morph you know I mean? into the same yeah, person. Yeah, they, they look like the same and, body, and it looks like Jeff Green or Jay Greens is, is up at the scoring. <laughs> booth. Like I just really, th- I just imagine that they're, they're sort of like handcuffed to one another. Those yeah. Verdes, man, I could see it. All right, let's get bold, guys. Let's make some bold predictions here. I hope you bring the real boldness to this uh, this segment <laughs> here. <laughs> the way you, I hope you bring uh, <laughs> what do you boldness or I have a bold. I'll go first here. I think I think I'm, I predicted this last year with, with Joe, <laughs> Michael Green. I think he physically defends Nikola Jokic from a confrontation this year. I think he defends it last year. Somebody gets in his face, and I think J. Mike comes over. Maybe it's a one-game suspension because he's smart enough to know he can't punch, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was a message sending of, like, nobody's doing that this year. I'm the real J. Green. (laughs) (laughs) Who's he he getting? Who's the guys at Josh Green? (laughs) (laughs) Jeremy Grant. (laughs) Jeremy (laughs) Jeremy Grant, the real J. Green. That'd be awesome. (laughs) That would actually be... Oh, he would, like... just, yeah, became the, the, the... I'm the real JG. Nurkic or something. It is yeah, just the, the, the Highlander that can only be the the Bones Highlander that can only be one. <laughs> okay. I can't, dude. Get I can't a, stop. Get Eric I can't out of the stop. studio. <laughs> get him. Get him out of the studio. All right, Win. Uh, give us uh, your bold take. I think that the Nikola Jokic, Jamichael Green, two man net rating will be better than the Nikola Jokic, Jeff Green, two man uh, rating. Okay. I think Jeff Green's going to play more. But I think the Nuggets are going to be better when it's Jamichael Green and Nikola Jokic. Okay. I could see. What do you think we'll ever get minutes of the Jokic Dos Verdes lineup? Jokic and the Dos Verdes? Of course we will. For some weird amount of time, they'll be. It won't be like a go-to where it was like planned, but it was like Jokic comes It'll back. Be like, in. man, everybody has COVID, and we're going to a bubble, and we have to play off five seven footers. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep. Bull, bull, will he start at point guard this year? Like he did. Remember that, guys? No, probably not. Uh, all right, um, all right. What about uh, vote? Oh, he's finally going to catch that body. I don't uh, know if you guys noticed, for a man who does everything in a very contained and limited fashion, five times a year, out of nowhere, Jermichael Green will try the most audacious <laughs> yeah, dunk attempt really in history. He and he's, it. a couple of them he's gotten kind of close. And I just think I one time there's going to be a, wait, how did that who just happen? Dude, he, I know who, he, who, who is he going to put on the poster next to Avril Lavigne in the target? Uh, <laughs> Cantor. It'll, it'll be Jackson Hayes. <laughs> the point is, yeah. Jackson Hayes. It's all just like going in the mid <laughs> to yeah, late what, 90s poster. Kind of yeah, dated yourself. There's no, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no one that is like more of a serial repeater than uh, mm-hmm. Jamichael Green as for attempted murder. Yeah. He's, yeah, right. he's like <laughs> never court, quite right? got. Oh, well, I don't know. Whatever. Either way, like I just want to see some follow through. That's all. That's so true. He keeps getting off the hook. Attempted, man. Uh, Eric, you want to give us a bold take? I just think he's going to shoot over 40%. Hey, I just, somebody had to do it. I think he's going to do it. I think he's going is to, uh, you know, like his, his role is going to be even more defined. He's going to have that uh, counterpart in Jeff green. And the, the two of them will sort of like uh, allow each other to bring the other's best uh, strengths out and the man can shoot like we saw when he first came we were like this guy's incredible he'll never he's never missed a three-point shot and then oh. as the year stretched on we were like this guy is pretty credible like if you remember <laughs> if you remember the nuggets were a very bad team in the regular season until jamaica ring out healthy i do That's true that. i do remember it yeah so maybe he saved the season he did. Some might have said that. <laughs> Some people are saying it. I thought maybe somebody would throw out a bold prediction that like Yoke makes him Godfather or something. Not not too late for yours. Here's what I oh. think for next pl- next year's player preview series. We should we should steal this from the tailgate. We got to give out pepper ratings and the lowest. Pepper has, has to, to eat a pepper. Or yeah, something, something man. Yeah. We got to right, step right. this up. That does it for the free portion for DNVR members. You're going to get access to the list and a mailbag on Jim Michael Green on Ooh. the other side of this. If you want to become a member, it's just $5 a month. You get a free T-shirt when you sign up, designed by this man over here, D-Line Co., an artist. And uh, you also an get artist? tall beers at the DNVR bar and access to all of our premium content throughout the year. Harrison wins written content covering the beat. That, We've got, we got the grades by vote. we got me doing the list. You're going to want to sign up for that. If you're a diehard Denver Nuggets fan, best $5 you're going to spend all month and every month. One less smoothie. One less smoothie per month. You've and, got it in the budget. And, and we'll see you guys on the other side for that premium.